hey all in this video we will see how we can use a uh, automated uh, code review tool and uh, with the help of pmd so this is official website of pmd uh, it's very well known uh, code review framework mostly used by java php and the c sharp application and the good news is salesforce or rather i will use the word apex is officially supported by pmd so this is the home page if you try to click on the github repository uh, maintained by pmd you will see the entry for the apex so that's very quite a uh, active repository if we see on the get so in this video let's see how we can set up the pmd to auto automatically review our codes so this is a page uh, officially for the apex and we can see there are many uh, rules and the documents available on using the apex with the pmd uh, on the left in navigation menu here we can see all the frameworks supported or rather i will use a word language supported by the pmd if you see here apex is there then python and all other languages and uh, this is the url uh, you can navigate to apex to install pmd on your system uh, you have to go to the installation page and click on this link once we click on this link, uh, SourceForge website will appear and we would be using 5.5.2 snapshot version. There are like uh, three type of the downloads are available. We would be interested in uh, Ben. So once we download it uh, and extract the downloaded ZAR file, or zip file we will see uh, this is the folder structure with bin and the lib folder inside it. So we would copy both the folder from here and paste it somewhere else like this place so on my desktop i have created a folder pmd static code analysis and bin and lib folder is exactly same i did a little bit modification in the bin folder and these are all the files uh, provided in the bim so we have to modify a pmd.batch file here so let's see what do we need to change if you open actual uh, pmd.batch file uh, let me open it my notepad plus plus so this is actual uh, original file and if you see uh, This is the uh, command and this is a, my file only thing I have did is I have added a double quote here and that's it The reason double quote is like on my path There is a space in the folder and that is the reason we need to add a double quote so let's go back in uh, our notepad plus uh, plus and this is my new file i will just close it to avoid any confusion so let's see how we can set it up so we have downloaded a pmd and we have extracted it and we have saved it on the desktop these are all the rules supported by a uh, pmd like apex unique complexity performance and then there are some other default rule sets and styles uh, PMD is a pretty new framework by uh, sorry uh, apex is pretty new framework for the PMD so there are not many rules so let's see how we can write a rule so this is XML file I have already uh, created few rule I will show you how uh, easy to create a rule so here we just need a parent node that is a rule set and within rule set we need to define a rule defining rule is also very easy so i have like three rules already here let's create a fourth rule so i would copy paste just any of the rule from here so let's try this one so this is excessive class length rule i will show how we can uh, add multiple rule here so this is the rule we will go back to the documentation section of the PMD Apex. These are all the available rules supported out of the box. So my rule is like excessive. So after that we have a method count rule. So let's scroll down to a method count. So let's go with this one. So we have to give the name of the rule. I will use the same rule name here. And then we need to give a user friendly message. We can copy this message and paste it in the message attribute of the rule node and we can paste it here as well and after that uh, PMD needs to know that to run this rule which is the uh, respective class name there so we simply need to copy paste fully qualified class name and paste it here and we are almost done 
now for this example that why why it is a best practice or why it's failing inside this c data example we can paste this code and let's format it okay so we are done example is configured so overall if you see this is our first rule this is the second rule third and this is our last the latest rule and there are few other rules as well if you want uh, you can configure like avoid sql uh, inside loop where is that rule okay here and then we have ydml rule as well so you can navigate to the apex by uh, here pmd apex and you will land on that page so let's go back uh, this is for php and then we have few uh, same home page like we have c sharp and then we have for c and all the detailed information are maintained on these pages so just for your knowledge purpose this is how uh, we can see so now in apex uh, let's come back to our topic and few other the rules available here like so we have used only four rules from the complexity section we can use rule from the performance saying that do not use sql inside for loop do not use the dml inside for loop that's a pretty much standard rule and one of the early best practices we learn in apex so this is the uh, pmd batch file and this is the rule file so i will go on my folder so this is the rule folder i have created now the sample folder have all the apex classes which i need to scan to see the code quality of my code and so we can run our command from the bin folder so we have to go to the bin and execute our command command prompt if you're using windows xp or windows operating system so let's uh, run pmd command and oops uh, I was not intended to click on the enter button, but that's fine. I will go back and I will run this command again and I will explain you what exactly this command. So instead of explaining here, I will open notepad plus plus and so here's the command. So D PMD is the name of batch file and D is basically uh, which folder we want to scan for the code analysis. F is a format and we want our uh, so this is the folder we want to scan f is a format and we want our output as an html and r stands for which rules do we want to uh, execute so like we have only four rule uh, and depending on project we can have multiple rules we can have different priorities as well so if i go back on my rule file you will see the priority so all of the rule right now is third priority if you want higher priority you can change it indirectly i want to say that it's completely configurable and then we are saying that okay the report output file needs to be generated in the parent folder and the name of the html file should be uh, pmd output so let's try to uh, run this rule i will open my command prompt and see here so it's scanning all the files and once it is done it will generate an html uh, so let's go and see if it has okay so like it has generated two file one was by mistake so i will delete the first file let's go back on the html and see how the output looks like output format is also uh, like uh, you can change you need to see the documentation of pmd so in this case we are saying okay for this class on line number four this is the rule which we are breaking or which this is the problem we have and then on this class at this line so this is how a uh, report generated by pmd uh, that's very uh, useful tool and one of the most important is like it's a free of cost so if you are using for the continuous integration or if you are using ant tool you can always plug in this script with your ant so after each deployment or before deployment you can always generate a report to see what is the code quality of course peer-to-peer -peer, uh, code review is important but uh, it's a free of cost and it will save a time thanks for watching this I hope uh, you learned something new. Before closing your browser, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And if you have any comment or feedback, please leave it here.